you know, proceed for uh, session 13, natural environment. Till yesterday, uh, we discuss harmony, which can be ensured by the self-exploration within, in the human being, related to the human being, you know, individual, family, society. But now we are, you know, in this natural environment session, we talk about nature. So it's very important to understand the nature. And then only, you know, we will be able to draw that conclusion, whether it's possible to live in harmony with the nature or not. So for that, you know, understanding of this natural environment is essentially required. And before to you know open up our discussion, I just would like to ask a question and you can reflect this question through the chat box. What you think are, I mean, is this earth is for you? This is option A and the option B, you are for the earth. Is this the earth for you, A, B is you are for the earth. Good. It's nice to see maximum responses that I am for the earth. Look at the earth is for me, right? Anyway, the earth is doing so many things for me. Earth, in a sense, you know, when I'm saying earth, I'm meant to say earth is one of the unit of the nature and the complete nature, the natural environment. I mean, this cannot be a question, can you survive without nature? Because we are the part of the nature. But just if I ask you, can you survive without nature? Is it possible? Is it possible to survive a human being without nature? All right, good. Impossible, not at all. <laughs> Very nice. I mean, this is not a question, right? It cannot be a question because we are the part of the nature. So when we understand that we are the part of the nature and for survival, whatever the essential requirement I have, nurturing, protection, you know, this air, oxygen, water, food, everything, everything I am getting from the earth, from the nature. So once we understand this thing, you know, that I am the part of the nature and the nature is providing everything for my survival, that helps us to do a right evaluation of ourselves. Otherwise, you know, many times we over-evaluate that because of me only, everything is happening. But now, you know, we can understand we are the part of the nature and all such things is happening because of that interconnectedness, interrelatedness, interdependency, mutual fulfillment. Isn't it? Otherwise, I mean, just look at that, you know, very small input comes, comes from outside and we get so depressed and so frustrated. A level of frustration, the level of anger comes just because of the small input. So we want to be in a harmony, but a small input, if someone says one word and that one word we do not want, I mean, we, that word is not as per the expectations we have. That one word is enough to make us full angry and having that opposition for forever with that person. So we want to be in harmony, but look at the kind of accumulation we have in our imagination. Look at the sort of evaluation we do of our own self. 
So in this session, we will explore is nature by the way of harmony or the nature by the way of struggle, so the struggle of a fit test and etc. etc. Okay. So let's have a reflection here. That what is my feeling? The nature is in harmony, by the way of harmony, or there's a struggle. Yeah, Dr. Divakaraji. Dr. Divakaraji. Dr. K. Uthiarani ji. Good morning, sir. Yeah, good morning, good morning. Uh, sir, uh, I'm Dr. K. Udayarani, professor in the Department of Physics uh, from Sri Ramakrishna Engineering College, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. Sir, am I audible, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Please go ahead. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, sir, we are coordinating the UHV classes in our institution, sir. And uh, we have been conducting this uh, SIP from 2018 onwards. And uh, ours is an autonomous institution. So as per the AACT guidelines, uh, we have introduced this, uh, we, are in the, we are planning to introduce this UHV 2 for second years. Uh, so, uh, as, and we are very happy to share that around 80 faculty members, or more than 80 faculty members have completed the level one, one workshop and more than 12 faculty members are attending this uh, uh, level two, our refresher uh, course now. And as per this workshop is concerned, uh, we are able to get ideas how to handle the sessions, uh, how to uh, give the assignments, how to kindle exploration in the students and what type of interactions to be planned. That is very much, we are, it is very, the sessions are very, very useful to us. And as far as my uh, thing is concerned, I want to be a teacher. Uh, and as we have, we have already said, a teacher should follow what he or she uh, teaches. So I, I, I'm working on my, uh, that is improving my competence so that I could have a good understanding and uh, right understanding with right feelings. And so I'll have a right relationship with my students and also my faculty colleagues. So this uh, workshop is uh, helping me a lot to work on my competence, how to improve my competence so that I can uh, work with my uh, uh, co-explorers. So uh, I take this opportunity to thank uh, the resource persons because they are putting a lot of efforts in making us understand all the concepts in a clear manner. So uh, once again, I thank you for this opportunity, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for your sharing and uh, kindly uh, express our gratitude to your college, your you know, principal, your deans, HODs, and you know, every member of your college for conducting this student induction program uh, every year since 2018 and um, you know focusing on UHV1 and your plan for uh, incorporating UHV2 in the near future. So thank you, thank you so much. Please convey our regards to you know your principal and the whole team who is conducting SIP and UHV. Thank you. Okay, so let us start on nature. See, when we say the nature, nature is the collection of units. And these units are like air, water, soil, trees, herbs, shrubs, animal birds, animal body, animal self, human being, human body, human self. Earth, Moon, Jupiter, Neptune, Sun, metals. So these are like some of the units, for example. So when we see the nature, nature is the collection of units. And these are some of the examples of the units. These units can be classified into four orders. Physical order, for example, air, water, soil, matter, metals, etc. etc. By order plant, trees, herbs, shrubs, etc., etc., 
animal order all the different species of animals all the different species of birds and in the human order human being so when we see say nature nature is the collection of units and these units can be classified into four orders physical bio animal and human order now let's look at the relationship of mutual fulfillment between bio order and physical order when we see this relationship between these two order this relationship is of mutual fulfillment this is cyclic these two orders are interconnected and interdependent and the result of this fulfillment of their relationship is enrichment for both orders it's an example you know this physical order air water soil moisture you know all these are the part of the physical order so this is required to grow a bio order so bio order for the growth of the bio order everything is getting from the physical order okay now in turn you find that the bio order also helps in the enrichment of the physical order the root of the trees keep the soil at one place the dry leaves when it falls on the soil you know, that's a manure for the soil it enriches the soil it makes the soil more fertile the bio order is you know inhaling carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen it's helping in the enrichment of physical order and the physical order is helping in the enrichment of bio order in the fulfillment of this relationship both of the order are getting enriched from their previous state growing more from their earlier state are you able to see this is this happening in the nature is this happening with these two order physical order and bio order is there any waste everything is getting recycled right because the relationship is in cyclic manner so this is called relationship the mutual fulfillment mutual enrichment is relationship so with such things you know we can ask our student to reflect on their relationship that the fulfillment of their relationship with the other is leading to this same thing or not when you interact with someone your harmony the level of harmony remains same or it becomes more or the harmony gets converted into disharmony so as you know the physical order is giving everything to the bio order to grow are you giving all this feelings of relationship because these feelings are expected by the other and the fulfillment of human human relationship is fulfilling the need of these feelings so are you giving these feelings to the other so we can ask such a sort of small small questions and these small questions would help students to explore within to verify within to relate with their life and they would be able to understand their current state and they would also have a clarity of the desirable state of continuity of happiness and prosperity and this would encourage them they would have the self motivation of development of this right understanding and right feeling which is required for the fulfilling life
Now let us come to the the nature. And when we say the nature, you know, these two orders, they are having, I mean, the relationship of mutual fulfillment, which is cyclic. They are interconnected and interdependent, but both these order and every unit which is, belongs to this order is getting enriched. So let's have a poll here. If you look into this, another aspect of it, the physical order is in abundance to grow the bio order, right? Yeah, Dr. Ram Shankar Tripathi ji, do you have any question or sharing? Mr. Abdul Rahman ji. Dr. Durga Prashant ji. Abdul Rahman ji, Durga Prashant ji. Ram Shankar Tripathi ji. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, sir, so uh, regarding the, the proposal which is shared about uh, the mutual fulfillment, now, as I shared in my yesterday's assignment also, that uh, I was brought up in a family where, uh, you know, feeding birds, uh, dana dalna, pani bharna, even when we would buy that, you know, we will procure wheat, uh, for our week, annual consumption jab harvesting ke time mein to uh, usse mein bhi ek, ek weed isliye bhi procure kiya jata tha because we had cattle in our family like that time uh, at my parents house hamare paas gai aur kuch animals the aur ek, ek section of uh, grain isliye procure kiya jata tha that they would be uh, fed on porridge and uh, during pregnancy of the cattle and all so uh, com completely in, in line oh, that the two um, exist and it is a mutual fulfilling relationship which exists. Uh, and more so the, the video which was shared with us, the beauty with which nature can replenish. So I also remember my, my grandfather sharing that uh, jo, jo, uh, only they need to be taken to the veterinary hospital, you know, doc. Uh, doctors or hospital <laughs> jo, uh, jo jungal mein hote hai, uh, they are self sustainable Matlab, aapne kabhi kisi, he also used to share a, a chopai from ramayan which i don't remember now uh, ki jungle mein jo hiran aur janwar hote hain unhe kahi le jane ki zarurat nahi hoti hai they are healed they are healthy so that's the harmony which exists in nature so, yeah, that is what I just wanted to share here. Yes. Right, good. Thank you. Thank you for the, thank you for sharing. Yeah, so the moment, you know, we uh, start seeing that I'm the part of nature and uh, the rest of the orders are mutually fulfilling for me, then I also have natural acceptance for this mutual fulfillment. And we take efforts, you know, to fulfill this relationship with nature. And we remain in harmony. See, whenever we are, whenever I am not able to have these feelings of relationship in me, I'm in disharmony. I'm unhappy. But whenever I have this feeling of relationship towards human being, I have feeling of relationship towards you know, these three orders of the nature, I'm in harmony. And we have natural acceptance for that. Let us take the third order, you know, the animal order. This animal order is also has a dependency on bio order and physical order. So now we can see that these three orders, interconnectedness, interdependent, fulfilling their relationship with mutual fulfillment in a cyclic process. And every unit is getting enriched. 
the bird eating fruits the bird is getting enrich the bird drop the fruit bio and you know it's germinate into another plant so natural way of tree plantation is happening so the bio order is also getting enriched physical order is getting enriched with you know the excreta of birds and animals and look at this i mean there is no wastage like everything is getting recycled everything is going back to the different orders and giving back to the different order you know the order which is giving is also getting enriched and the order which is getting and receiving is also getting enriched so this is relationship so relationship of mutual fulfillment relationship of responsibility relationship of commitment so we can have a poll here yeah so if anyone has any sharing or question pertaining to the discussions having can raise the hands yeah mr thamiul ansari ji abhijit shivani ji yes sir namaste namaste uh, namaste sir uh, basically i have a question about animal orders means uh, as we see there are yeah you need to unmute yourself abhijit ji yeah mm -hmm. am i audible sir yeah yeah you can continue your questions from you have basic questions of related to animal order yes sir uh, the basic question like uh, i uh, understand that there is a plants are the plants which uh, which are uh, like food for us like those for uh, all herbi boros uh, means those who are uh, vegetarian people like for them that is a plants and trees which are working as a food and air water soil they are there also there the cultivation happens and through that we get uh, trees and that we eat and as a human being we survive similarly there are some other animals like we survive on that and on those animals there are animals like tigers and uh, uh, they like those animals eat them now in this case like for example if you uh, look at a harin is there na? and there is a tiger so uh, what happens is that uh, there is a fear uh, for that animal so can we say that there is harmony in animal order there yeah you know the disharmony is basically the imbalanced i am in disharmony within which means i am not having that balanced within the balance between my desired thoughts and expectations so if you see this relationship of tiger and deer so tiger is consuming deer okay yes. but have you seen any tiger has preyed more than his requirement you find that the tiger only go hunting or preying deer only if he is hungry or the tiger is hungry right have you seen any tiger is acu doing the accumulation there is no accumulation yes. yes so and then even the tigers are there and tiger killing the deers but you would not find any example of a jungle where the tigers are there and the number of deer is not i mean it's much less than the requirement of the tiger in proportion you would like to say you would yeah. never find that you would find that the there is an abundance of physical order and abundance of bio order and even in animal order though there are some carnivorous animals okay so when we see the harmony harmony okay. is basically the balance 
balance you would like to say balance is there no, absolutely yeah. balance is there yes so whenever you, i mean start looking into our own self whenever i am not in balance within myself i am in disharmony right yes so thank you yeah now let us you know bring our order the fourth order is the uh, human order so this three orders are mutually fulfilling enriching interconnected interdependence there is a cyclic relationship and the relationship of mutual fulfillment now human being we are receiving from physical order receiving from bio order and animal order but then what are we giving back to these three orders as rest of the three order are receiving and giving both things are happening and in fact if you start observing each of the order is giving right so physical order is giving to the bio order bio order is giving to physical order animal order is giving to physical order and bio order so as physical order and bio order is giving to animal order but when it comes to the human order you know we are receiving but what are we giving what are we giving back to the the rest of the three orders are we fulfilling our relationship with the rest of the three orders yes no yeah <laughs> so look at we are just taking and we just want to take right so just expecting but you know when we look into this we have a natural acceptance for the mutual mutually fulfilling we do want to be mutually fulfilling for rest of the three orders right we don't want to exploit any of these three order so our want our natural acceptance is different and our level of competency our competency is different so when there is a mismatch between my own natural acceptance and my own competency i am in a state of contradiction i am unhappy i am in a state of disharmony so what is required to develop the competency align with natural acceptance in accordance with our natural acceptance so we want to live with the feeling of relationship we want to be mutually fulfilling sir, and then uh, can we... i interrupt for one minute huh? yes yes please uh, sir uh, we, uh, don't you see that human beings are different from what the other environment is at generally if you look at other uh, environment animals plants they are fulfilling for others like but human beings uh, and but uh, if you look at our life you know, like we accumulate some money or something like that because we think about the future but if you look at other things like Uh, which are there in the system and they don't think about the future i think that might be creating this uh, conflict between uh, the environment and human being yeah what you are saying is right that you know human being has uh, more uh, potential uh, than rest of the three orders uh, that is right because if you look into the natural process of tree plantation you know bird would eat the fruit or uh, the the part of the seed would go back to the physical order uh, you know through excreta of the animals and then the the way speed of you know becoming a tree but if a human being understand this mutual fulfillment then certainly you know we can plant 
much more number of tree in one hour than the tree is getting planting, getting planted through the natural process. So in that sense, what you're saying is right. But for this, we see this human being need to understand without having this right understanding within, we are not able to see this mutual fulfillment and enrichment. So with understanding only, you know, human being would be able to do the correct assessment of his need with the quantity. And then human being would also be able to draw the conclusion that the more share of physical facility is not for the accumulation, but this is to fulfill my relationship with others. Like in rest of the three order, you know, the abundance is there because whatever the extra they have, more, you know, that is getting shared with the other order for the fulfillment of their relationship. So this lack of right understanding, you know, human being, the human conduct, the human behavior is best on their understanding. Whatever I understand, I behave accordingly. And if my understanding is not as per my natural acceptance, then I would not be able to develop that right understanding within. So that is the reason this human education is important and that plays a vital role in the helping development of competency to live with a definite human conduct, a human being as a human being, like the rest of the orders, right? So human being has a have natural acceptance for the mutual fulfillment. And with such understanding, right understanding human beings can be also the mutual fulfillment for the rest of the four order. So the question mark is here, right? This question mark would get converted into a tick with development of this right understanding with it. So let's have a reflection here. With right understanding, human orders can be much more fulfilling. even much more fulfilling than the natural orders. Because you know, the human being has this body as an instrument and the, the body is so sophisticated. I mean, if you compare the human body, the flexibility, the way you know, we can say it, the way we can hold, walk. I mean, we could do many things which animal cannot do with their body. So this sophisticated instrument can certainly be utilized for the enrichment of the nature with the right understanding with it. Yeah, Ms. Gurlin Sidhuji. Uh, good morning, sir. Uh, first of all, sir, I would like to apologize for yesterday. I could not present due to the unstable network. And uh, so right now, I just wanted to uh, discuss uh, one thing that just strikes my mind that uh, when we talk about survival of the fittest in nature, and we say that, you know, the Darwin's theory is totally incorrect. What I feel, sir, uh, I think it was uh, meant to state that when we talk about the physical or the bio order, I mean, even the reproduction, the way uh, the nature is, like, you know, depending on the mortality rate of a particular species, uh, you know, the uh, female reproduces quite a number of, uh, you know, babies. And then depending on how fit the baby is, you know, it, it survives. And maybe it is supposed to be like that because uh, otherwise there would be an imbalance in the nature. So I feel at times so when we try uh, as human beings, like, you know, we try to save and protect a certain species, even doing that, we might be uh, creating an imbalance in nature. So what I feel is that we should 
uh, not be disturbing the nature at all. Let it be the way it is. So, sir, what do you have to say about it? Yeah, I mean, uh, see, while um, you know, asking a question based on the Darwin's theory of evolution, you uh, yourself have answered to this question that there's a balance in the nature, there's a harmony in the nature, right? So sometimes uh, we used some words in the theory, like struggle, the theory of survival, okay? And then without understanding the meaning of the word, the understanding the reality. The reality is there is a balance, there is a harmony. So the same theory could have been put with the theory of harmony, right? Or the theory of balance rather than theory of survival or theory of struggle. But whatever you know is there in our imagination, we uh, always behave, talk, discuss, you know, only those uh, things. This is one. Number two, another important thing, how Darwin conducted the theory on human beings or animal order or bio order or physical order or the complete nature. Because when it comes to the human being, immediately we can you know, look into this. The struggle is an outcome of the lack of feeling of relationship. But with the feeling of relationship, there is nurturing others helping others. And the feeling of relationship is naturally acceptable and that feeling can be developed through a right understanding with it. So some of the theories, you know, are not based on the complete nature study and not based on the study of human being. Because whenever a, you want to develop any sort of theory uh, for the human being, you know, you need to understand the self. And you also need to understand the body. But the main part of the studies on the human being is understanding the self. So, and then, you know, the comparison can be between the examples of the same order. It cannot be between the examples of the two different order. You know, for example, the Newton's law. Every action has got an equal and opposite reaction. Yes, physical order, it is applicable. This is true. But it is not true with the human order. Every action has got an equal and opposite reaction is not applicable with the human order because if the other person is in disharmony and you are in harmony, then you don't react, you respond. But unfortunately, whenever we study, we draw a certain conclusion, we do comparison. You know, if a study being done, conducted on material order, we directly correlate it with the human order. That correlation with the body can be possible, but not with the self. Because self has recognizing and fulfilling in, in addition to that, assumptions is there and the self has the potential of knowing, the potential of realization. And with knowing and with such realization, our assumption can set right and our behavior and conduct also set definite. So there's a huge difference between these two. So through education, unknowingly, such sort of confusion is getting spread. And that is the reason the value education is important, but then slowly and gradually, you know, we need to look into our syllabus, we need to look into the content, we need to look into the chapter, the subcontent, and we need to bring it value based, harmony based, which is there, right? The harmony is there. So such value based education would help us to live with the values and reflect into a human society. Okay? Right, sir. 
yeah. so like i'll just take a short example like you know there was this uh, like we have these trees uh, in the backyard and there were these birds like small uh, you know birds and then this shikra came like the praying bird and uh, then he was trying to eat up the other bird so i don't know when i might have told my younger like he's 8 year old so earlier he used to get upset seeing this thing but that day when the first uh, reaction he had was that i want to save the little ones but then he said uh, no uh, let it be i will not disrupt the cycle of nature because this is how it goes so in a way i was happy also so but then i honestly i was a little confused what should have i done should I have saved the little ones or should i just let nature play its way Yeah, I mean, we just need to understand the harmony is there, right? Right, sir. Right. And and let's let's play our role of mutual fulfillment. That's it. Right. See, the, see, once once we understand this harmony, then we you know identify our role as as a human being. Our role is to maintain the constitution of physical order, the right. seed of bio order, the breed of animal order. and harmony of human order okay right and, and we right. take efforts for that like for mm-hmm. example thank, thank you. you thank you for your question so for example like when we see this cone on on this slide look at the on the top of this cone is the human order because in in quantity the human order is the smallest at the base of this cone you will see the physical order so when you look into the quantity of the units the physical order is much 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 bigger than the bio order right the bio order is much much bigger than animal order and the animal order is much much bigger than the human order and the survival of the human order is depend on animal bio physical animal order is depend on bio and physical bio order is depend on physical right so we can see that there is an abundance to grow the next order and as human being we say right our resources resources which means physical facilities for the survival of the body you know are these three animal bio and physical order these are the resources and if you look into the the human want i mean the desire the basic desire the human's basic desire is continuity of happiness and prosperity because all of us have desires we des- we you know we want to achieve it's to fulfill our basic desire of continuity of happiness and prosperity so if there's a clarity on the basic desire that i desire for continuity of happiness and prosperity which can be ensured by development of right understanding and right feelings within the need of physical facility is to protect nurture body and this need is limited in fact very limited it is quantifiable with such clarity what you think this resources are limited or in abundance for the human being we can just reflect into the chart box the resources which are required for nurturing protection of the body are res- limit are limited or they are in abundance nice it's good to see uh, now most of us are able to see these resources are in abundance you know they are not limited but without this right understanding within what is the role of these resources and without the clarity on the basic aspiration of continuity of happiness and prosperity you know whenever we connect the need of the self by the need of the body for example the need of the self is respect and whenever we try to fulfill the need of 
the self respect through physical facility then the physical facility the need of the physical facility becomes unlimited but despite of accumulating more and more physical facility to fulfill the need of the self so the continuous need of the self cannot be fulfilled by the temporary need of the body and in spite of it you know we keep accumulating and with even such sort of accumulation there is always feeling of deprivation and then there are a whole lot of assumptions you know we have and some of these assumptions are there through the educations like human wants are unlimited and the resources are limited now tell me if your want is limit unlimited and the resources available to fulfill your want is limited would you ever feel prosperous so my want which is best on the preconditioning and sensations maybe even they are not lim- unlimited but maybe big in number but the moment i make the list of what i want what i desire for and the moment i have clarity on happiness is the right understanding and right feeling within and if i categorize the list of my wants and need that how much of my wants and need are going to contribute into the continuity of my happiness then you will find that most of the atoms which are there on the list get disappeared and with that you know we can have a clarity that the basic aspiration of human being is the continuity of happiness and prosperity and for the fulfillment of this basic aspiration what is essentially required is understanding so i need to understand to fulfill my basic aspiration this is number 1 number 2 that i have this natural acceptance so through referring to this natural acceptance i can understand you know i can develop that right understanding within so this part refresher part you know one refresher one part one um, is we are concluding today this particular part and uh, we found we find very nice to interact with you all again and with some of you you know we have been interacting for uh, you know many many times through weekly meetings through morning sessions through monthly meetings but then each one of you and we met before in the introductory workshop so it's it's very inspiring to uh, listen to your reflections listening to your self exploration self evolutions you know your development and um, through this workshop also Uh, through assignments through practice sessions so we you know trust that the process of self exploration would get strengthened um, after this moment and you know if you can see that you have a potential you have a potential to understand you have a potential to Uh, develop harmony within you have potential to participate in the harmony of family your institution your society and nation the world and the nature at large then you know you need to re- you will renew your commitment to make the necessary efforts for it so as a mentor as a teacher you know you have potential so similarly we can realize this potential to the students that as a students they also have potential to participate in the to develop your full human personality and to be a source of just an equitable society so it has been an enriching experience for uh, each one of us who is directly and indirectly involved uh, in the process of in the journey of our you know self exploration Uh, interacting with you for the past five days, and uh, in, through your interaction, through your you know listening to your sharing, uh, 
listening to your questions has uh, certainly helped us to uh, look within, to look our own feelings, to look our, uh, evaluate our own clarity. So I, on my behalf and on behalf of the entire UHV team, NCCIP and AICT, would like to express a deep feeling of gratitude towards each one of you.